We'll take this stoke chair to the top and then we're gonna ride the cat road until you see a whole bunch of infrastructure. I think there's some like spots where you can walk out, look at shit. There you have it, Travis Rice and the Kootenai King, Dustin Craven. It's a scout day, we're gonna go have a look and uh, already nervous, so got that going for me. I don't know how much we're gonna see. A little stormy out here, but I don't know. You got probably like 25 of the best backcountry snowbirds here. It's a pretty cool group of people, so come have a look with us. Yeah, weather. Weather's perfect. We could be a go. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm so hot. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> here we are, guys. Kind of behind the scenes, but also in front of the scenes. So it's getting stuff cleared out. You can see the kids are starting to play on the gymnasium. Ideas are starting to get tossed around. It's kind of hard to see, but you know, I'd rather get a tickle first before I get a real good go at it. Good to see you guys. How are you? Oh, God. <laughs> it's the course. It's the course. Confirm. Confirm. You're looking over in the yonder over there, huh? Yeah. It's quite a ways away, and there's not a ton of visibility. But it looks kind of like the photos I received on WhatsApp a couple days ago. It's really sporty. It's bigger in real life. And I'm sure when we get boots on the ground, it's gonna look even bigger. It's always big in real life, I heard. That was perverted, Yeah. I didn't even look at this, like, on the photo. Yeah. At all. Because they had the course highlighted, and this wasn't in it. And then when we just... We're at the control tower with Travis. He's like, I mean, someone's gonna ride it. And I was like, oh. Shit. Honestly, the Kootenai King might ride down that too, Dustin Craven, lest we forget. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. It's just, yeah, you just hope it's good snow because in good snow, you can slow yourself down so much. Yeah. Look who we have here. The man himself, Mr. T. Ricky. Just one a mini out here, buddy. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. Bring, are you gonna leave your stuff yeah. or bring your board so you can board down? Well, that's a good point. I'll bring it. Leave that. Two minds can figure this out. Ben, tell us your line. <laughs> yeah, what's your line? Tricks, I'm going for the biggest explosion possible. Oh, he up. never learns his lesson. <laughs> The more days you spend in a Kootenai, your chin starts pushing out. <laughs> the judge for this pristine event, what are you looking for? To be honest, I'm from Winnipeg. More of a box kind of guy. What do you think, Jody? Well, I like giving Mike, so <laughs> this is a little different. Front board something, Mike. If I can get a back lip in there, it's If you can get on. a back lip in there, we're on. There's a log at the top, actually. Yeah. There oh, you go. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> There's some steel up there, kids. You going like Hard Bay Front 2 or? Yeah. I really like that trip. We're talking, we're talking back 5 0, back 180. It's looking pretty sweet. The snow looks good. It looks a little bit mellower than last year, which is nice. Not so scary. But scary enough. Like, it'll be sweet. There's some big stuff up there. Seen it on like the drone footage and stuff. But yeah, it's always a little different in person, you know? And it's always different once you're standing on top of it. Is it uh, always bigger in person, as they say? Mm, like the camera adds a couple inches, or what are you talking about? <laughs> Had two smoothies this morning in a row, and then I just had to piss all day. Did you have two green smoothies this morning? Well, Jared made me a smoothie this morning, so I hit that one first thing right out of bed, straight down the gullet, and then I hit a green smoothie after that. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> we're at the top. Uh, they have a little arch that we're gonna drop in through. And then is this thing, is that the start of the cliff already? Yeah. It's really stormy. We need to seek shelter. Okay, that's a wrap on the scout day here. First eyes on the course, looks insane. There's a lot to digest. 
Got to go home and do some studying, but day one in the books and snow on the way. Good morning, rest day. It's a comp day. We're going to go up to Revelstoke Mountain Resort and do natural selection. And I'm really stoked and nervous and excited and so many emotions you know <laughs> another green put some protein powder in it and it's stuck all over the side <laughs> i haven't been up here but you basically travel is it on tight how you feeling buddy okay yeah you look sharp thanks bud good you too team. Oh, I'm chilling down here. Yeah, right here. Sorry. Oh, no worries, buddy. Get this jog, you wow. know, get the legs warm. Get the cardio, you know. It's a good way to get the heart rate up. What's up, Larry? Uh, we are down here. It is approximately two hours till start a show. Uh, two hours and 15 minutes till Torstein and Mark drop in first. But we're down here in the finished corral, just kind of like crossing T's, dotting I's, making sure all the banners are set up. We got some pub beers, we got some Red Bulls, we got athlete water bottles, we got extra boards in the tent. Um, and riders are starting to kind of trickle through, hop on the cat, and heading up this cat road here, either that way or that way, to uh, get eyes on the course. But it's kind of nice, we got a nice little blanket of snow on top and a little bit of duff sitting on top. Bit of a reset and uh, man, I can't wait for this thing to get underway. Kind of showed up this morning, riding the cat track, looking at like the line I wanted to do and it looks like they ski cut it and a little avalanche popped right there. Debris went pretty damn far. So yeah, I guess we just see what happens. They're gonna ski cut a couple more things. No, they, they ski cut it, but unfortunately man, it has ripped out a lot. Well, they're gonna probably get um, much of that. There's a lot of bed surface. It's definitely helping me make up my mind on where I'm gonna go. Looks like I'm going on the rider's left side, the west venue. There is. There's two ridges. Wow. Stanley. He's, he's poised. He's focused. Is he listening to Drake? I don't know. Yeah, Tor! Yeah, Tor! Whoa! What? Oh! Damn, that was very, very gangster. Okay. Thinking about it. Horse is open. Thinking about it. What did it look like? Like once he hit that Red Bull thing, he kind of just went to the hip. Yeah, go straight. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, the boys. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, yeah, Go ahead to uh, take his spot, but great to see him riding uh, in Canada this this time. Got a glimpse of the Oakley Prisms uh, in Persimmon that McMorris is rocking, like dappled sunlight on this course at the moment. Yeah, I think visibility is one of the most important things to have when riding terrain like this. So we are getting extremely lucky. The riders are obviously getting lucky. All right, right there, a little front side 180. Now going switch, going for the cab 540. Oh, wow. Starving it perfectly where oh, it's wow. the back side. 360, so That's so far, drip, right? oh. Mark's run is looking very oh. small. Oh, no! And then, oh, just okay, now you gotta go big, a little bit. Like, got bucked like, off a pillow in the landing. Yeah. Oh, oh look out oh, behind so you, Oh, dude, it looks yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 Butter. Oh, off the top was sick. Dude, the cab five was so nice. Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I thought everyone was yelling for me, but they were like, yeah, Mark. Yeah, Mark. Yes, sir! Sweet! Come on, boy! 
Natural selection and supporting snowboarding. Okay, front one coming into this first kicker switch. All right, going switch front side, just the half cab. I like that. He's going double. For sure. Oh! 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 Held on to it. He's back up, he's back up. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see how the judges score that. He didn't do a nice front side three, but the double wildcat, very risky maneuver. Do you know what I love about that? Killed hardly any of the speed. Super Damn, flow buddy. through this section. Yeah. Triple! Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Oh. To bottom, Mark McMorris. Oh my gosh! See <laughs> what we had there. Little switch up top, you know, little point grabbers. Went for the double wildcat. Absolutely fucking beast. Wasn't able to put it down, but really, like, kind of wowed everybody at the end. I got the announcers in my ear. They were kind of losing their shit on that like direct, insane run out. So really hard to say. I don't know. McMorris was like hot on the bottom. Torstein kind of hot on the top. What are the judges like? Tops or bottoms? I don't know. <laughs> 78.2 for Torstein. 73 for Mark. So Mark Ooh. does not. Yeah, I totally called that wrong. Yeah. So Torstein's second run, the 78.2 will stand. So Torstein will advance to finals day in Selkirk Tangiers. Our first 